Hello once again and welcome to Johnny Dell's Football Academy, the channel that is trying to answer the whys and hows of the game. As we've been doing and will continue to do throughout the year, we're going to take a look back at the previous week's game and see why the game went the way it did. We're going to continue our review of the Week 6 game against the Los Angeles Rams. On this episode, I want to highlight Jimmy Ward. He came up really big on three crucial plays in this game. A fourth and short, third and short, and another fourth and short. Jimmy Ward has been through a lot, and I know a lot of us fans have had our doubts about him. So let's give the guy some love and look at these spectacular efforts. So to really highlight one of Jimmy Ward's fourth down stops, I actually have to go back and look at a play that happened on a third and one the previous drive. Now this this play ends up uh, going in our direction because of a good pass rush, a good scheme by Robert Sala, and Jimmy Ward's man actually comes uncovered. But we'll talk about this because I like the way he adjusts to the player he's covering. So let's jump in and talk about this a little bit. So like I said, it's third and one, and what the Rams are going to do, I actually like the play design here. They're going to take this receiver, put him on a vertical. Their Cooper Cup is here uh, in as the second receiver on this side, and they're going to take the, the first inside receiver, and they're going to run, run him on a deep crosser or speedo route, as we call in the West Coast offense. Uh, so you have a speedo concept going here, and then they're going to take Cooper Cup, and they're going to run him first looking on an in route, and then he's just going to run like we saw with some of our guys, a zig route. So he's going to come in, make it look like an in, and cut out. And it's gonna what's going to happen is this speedo route is going to help run interference for this route. So it's going to cause the same thing that we saw Shanahan do with uh, the Kendrick Bourne video. If you saw my third down video of Jimmy G. There was one we we threw it to Kendrick Bourne. This is a very similar type of play that we're going to run interference on. And what we're going to do is we're just going to be in man coverage on the across the board. So everybody's here in man. Jimmy Ward is manned up on Cooper Cup. Uh, and we have a single safety and we're bringing a blitz. So we can watch this play and see how how Jimmy plays this in man coverage. So we clear everything off. And here at the snap, you see Cooper Cup is coming in. Jimmy Ward is staying over the top to not run into his own guy and get picked. He's trying to stay out of the traffic a little bit. He tries to go over the traffic, gets caught up in the wash on the pick, and it's coming back in. What happens on this play is Robert Sala does a really good job of scheming some pressure. But if you see here, Cooper Cup's open. This is third and one. So the 45-yard line right here is the first down. He's open for a first first down, but the pressure got there so quickly that Goff had to bail and really didn't have time to find him in the progression. But what this shows is that on this drive, third and one, on one to go, they put Cooper Cup out, Jimmy Ward's on him, and they try and run this little zig route. They're going to come in and out. And so after seeing this, he's been beat on this, but it didn't bite him. Let's see how he plays the next time uh, they're in fourth and one. So next drive, they're in fourth and one. Here's what's going to happen. Jimmy Ward makes a good pass breakup. So let's talk about this play a little bit. So this one, the Rams are actually going to run a variation on a stick concept. If you've seen some of my videos, you've seen the stick concept several times. It's a pretty common concept in the NFL. This is a stick plus Ohio. You have an Ohio out here, and then you're also using it for a stick. The difference will be they're going to run this little zig route here with Cooper Cup. Now he's all the way in, so they're going to run this little in out. And so it's it. this is how it's a variation on the stick, where the stick is normally just a you know, either read um, and sit down in between the zones or uh, go away in man coverage. Here they're going to run the variation with a little in and then out. And what we're going to do is we're just in man coverage again. So here's us. We're just in man coverage across the board. Everybody's man manned up and we're going to have a single safety. So it's the same coverage, fourth and one. And in the end, Cooper Cup is running the same route that he play that he ran against Jimmy Ward on the third and one. The difference is Jimmy Ward's ready for it this time. He's seen it the previous drive, and so he's ready for it on this on this drive. So let's let's jump to the film and see how he plays it. 
So here at the snap, you're going to see now he's squatting and he's not going to bite on this little end because he's already seen Cooper Cup do this and he plays it all the way, is ready for it. And two, because the running back stays in to block, we have help over the middle so he never bites really hard on the route and plays it really well. And is able. I mean, he just plays this as, as good as you can get. So here you see in consecutive drives with only one yard to go, the Rams were trying to hit Cooper Cup with this with the same route. Now they they dressed it up differently, but he, they're still relying upon him, and he's been a third down monster for them. So I really like the play by Jimmy Ward here, the recognition and understanding and picking up on what he's already seen in the game and what the def what the offense has tried to do to him. So, you know what? Big props to Jimmy Ward here. This was a huge play in the game, fourth and one. We're in the fourth quarter, so, you know, this guy's taken a lot of flack over the years, and he really showed out in this game. So this was going to be one play that I want to show on that. There's going to be a couple more episodes coming, so stay tuned and look out for them. You can like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I will always try and interact with everybody in the comments as best I can. If you also want to interact at 49erswebzone.com in the fan forum and the coaches film analysis thread or on Twitter, I will be there too, or Reddit. I'll post these on Reddit. So there's a lot of different ways that we can interact and talk 49ers football, and it's all good. It's so great to watch a winning team once again. So thanks for tuning in, and go Niners!